Hi everyone, welcome to our video how to configure firewall for Azure SQL to enable connection from Azure resources or from outside or on-premises machine. But first, let me give you a quick introduction about myself. My name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a developer technologies MVP and principal DevOps consultant. I have been doing software development for more than 15 years now. Worked on several projects for different enterprise customers across different regions and countries. I heavily participated in the community, developed several frameworks, presented many sessions, holding various certificates for Azure and DevOps. I started back in 2002 as a classic ASB developer, relocated multiple times in multiple countries, worked with several technologies and for different role and positions. And for the last eight years, I moved to consultancy-based role where I focused more on helping different companies, some of them from the Fortune 500, to improve their software development and delivery using DevOps and automation. I have developed and authored several frameworks, command line tools, and guides. You can find them on GitHub and Azure DevOps Marketplace. I like to share my experience. This is why I have a YouTube channel and blog where they have hundreds of videos and posts that share different topics from my real experience. I have presented many sessions in several user group, conferences, events, and customer sites as well in different countries. So I got the chance and the opportunity to work in different culture, project size, and company size as well, which helped me to have different experience. Here are some links for my activities. Let's open the SQL Server. And now I will navigate to the firewall. So we can see that allow Azure service resource to access the server is turned off. So I will create a firewall rule which will turn it on. So as we can see, this command will create a firewall rule for this resource group for the SQL server. And the firewall rule has name and has a start IB and the end IB. As long as the start IB and the end IB, all of them zero, it means that allow the Azure resources to access the SQL server. So let's execute that command and get back to the firewall. Let's refresh by going. So as we can see now, it's on where it has the database and copy the name of the SQL Azure. Remember, because the virtual machine exists on Azure and we put the firewall rule to enable Azure resources, so I can connect with that. If the SQL Management Studio on my local machine, I need to add my local machine IB as a firewall rule on Azure SQL. Then I will put here the username and password that I used to create the SQL logical server and then connect. So this connecting the SQL Management Studio to Azure SQL Server. So I can navigate to the table and also see the to do. We can see the columns. I can also retrieve some field. Let's select the top records and we can see that it has the data. Again, if I go for the SQL server for the firewall, here is the place where I can put my local IP if I want to connect to the SQL server from on-premises machine. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching the video. Please, if you have any question or comment, don't hesitate to reach out. You can find more information on my blog, which will appear at the end of the video, along with some other related video. Thank you.